a little video. Okay, here we go. This is the start of something big. This one has been dubbed Nugget Hole. And we're really hoping to find some large pieces. <clears throat> we did last year. So you can see there's there's quite a bit of uh, smaller gold in here, but it does add up. And so I don't think uh, I don't think I'm leaving quite yet. I got a fair amount of gold. I haven't weighed this out yet because I haven't uh, extracted it all from the black sands. But I found a spot where there was a fair amount of gold in the black sands. Actually, some really good values. And this is some of it right here. So when I saw that I was getting decent gold, I just did that fast panning just to get the light material off it and uh, just threw that black sand into one extra pan I had. And All right, there they are. I'm gonna do a uh, just a section. I love cryptids and I think many of them are real or misidentified creatures. This is from the Royal Canadian Mint of Canada, and it is the werewolf, sometimes known in places like Michigan called the dog man. I think it's essentially the same, the same creature, and this is Royal Canadian Mint. Okay, now we're to the Intaglio Mint, and the rest of the coins will be that. They have their own version of the werewolf. And it's not bad. It's actually a pretty cool coin. I, I love this stuff. Okay, Intaglio Mint again. Now these guys are related to a degree. We have the classic tale of the mermaid. Anyone who knows about the aquatic ape theory, I've only met one person who has, but I read a book on it as a kid in the 70s. And, uh, and then, of course, the Kraken. I think we all have a pretty good idea of what that is. Then we have the legend of the Pine Barrens of Jersey, where Washington and his men spent a horrific winter. There's something out there. There could be an unknown. Maybe a predator lives in subterranean caves. Yeah, you wouldn't find one of those so easy. But regardless, a really neat coin. Kind of scary as hell looking, the boot. And this is in Taglio Mint. Well, one that everyone knows, and I can tell you straight out, the line of lakes at that latitude across all continents, that includes Siberia, um, British Columbia with Lake Okanagan and um, but there's a whole slew of lakes that have something it's not the classic Pleisosaur absolutely not this is something that can stay down longer and was probably locked in when the seas withdrew <clears throat> then we have the Chupacabra in Taglio Mint very cool. I've got double of this as well. And it's just neat looking. It could be a lot of different things. Or it could be something that's unknown. Alright, everyone knows this guy. And I've been around him. I've had him throw rocks around the campfire. In rem and every time it was in a remote area. We also, my brother and I, camped in an area for an entire week where we saw no one, absolutely no one. And um, I was able to hear the language 
for probably a half of an hour in the early uh, morning hours and I woke up by the snap of a branch that sounded like a rifle shot. So when we got to the top of the hill when we left after that week, I talked to uh, a couple of rangers. We finally ran into someone after we had you know, come out of that switchback canyon. And uh, I asked him, I go, do you have trouble with poachers here? And he goes, no, it doesn't seem like we've had any problems lately. And uh, I told him about the, the loud pops. And I thought, I thought it sounded like a gun, but it was branches being actually snapped, branches that none of us could snap. So it was really interesting. And there were some weird uh, configurations in the uh, general area, and we found good gold to boot. So interesting definitely something now this one is freaking awesome i just saw that intaglio mint just started putting these out they're just odd ufo coins you know ufos and cowboys in the old west i just thought it was hilarious pretty cool so of course i'm going to get these and they've got several of them different scenes they've got um ufos over vegas and some stuff like that, you know, really neat, super neat stuff. But I couldn't pass this one up, so I bought one just to look at it, and I'll, I'll probably end up getting all the rest. I think they've got about five or six of them out right now.